Thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk about performance visas for bands. So this is what we call a P1 visa. Um, there are other P visas for athletes and things like that. Today we're just going to talk about bands. The P1 visa is actually surprisingly similar to the O1 visa. Uh, the P1 is for bands, the O1 is for individuals. Um, that gets a little bit confusing for people. I've had individual guitar players say I'm coming in on a P1 visa. It doesn't work like that. The P1 is for the band. Um, similar to the O1, which we've already talked about, um, the, in order to come in on a P1 visa, you have to have a sponsor. You have to have a US um, organization or citizen serving as your sponsor. Typically, that's a booking agent, management company, producer, something like that. There has to be a contract in place. So we have to prove some kind of contractual relationship between the petitioner and the band seeking P1 status. Um, once we've proven that, uh, we then need to prove that the band qualifies for three of the following um, categories. We need to prove that they've either performed at major events um, or productions. So that would be, have they performed at a large festival? Have they played at a prestigious um, venue? So in Australia, you've got to perform at the Sydney Opera House um, or played at a, a good sized festival um, or opened for another band um, at, at a, on a pretty cool tour. Uh, other category is being um, an essential part of an organization. So that could be a spokesperson for a nonprofit, a uh, spokesperson for a um, manufacturer of something, so an endorsee. Um, it could also be, a lot of times we use in, uh, them as an essential part of the management company that they're signed with or the petitioner in the case. Um, the next is international acclaim. We typically prove that via press. Um, you know, if, if you haven't got a lot of press as a band and you're hoping to come over here, it can be quite tricky. Um, you need to hire a PR agent and get some press. That's the easiest way to prove the international acclaim. Um, the next is a record of um, that was commercially successful. This is proved by album charts, record sales, um, radio play in some places. Um, we used to be able to prove it via YouTube views and things like that. The, the USCIS has really stopped utilizing 2 million views as a great thing. They're mainly focusing on what people pay for um, through album sales and downloads and things like that. Uh, another category is um, significant recognition from critics or industry experts. That's your friends that are Grammy Award winners, um, Golden Guitar winners, um, people that are well known in the industry as executives will write a letter about you just saying how great you are as a band. And the final uh, and kind of more abstract um, category is that your band has received um, significant pay for what you're doing. So the tricky thing with that is you've got to compare what's normal pay and what's significant. Um, we very rarely use that, but it does happen. Um, we need to prove that the, band, the amount of money you receive, so let's just say you receive $25,000 to play at a festival. We need to prove that that's significantly higher than the norm um, and go from there. So we need to prove three of those categories. Once, that, once we submit the case, um, you've got to file a 129 and get certain union letters, um, AFM endorsements. Um, once we submit that and it's approved, then you need to go through the non-immigrant uh, visa process with your US consulate abroad. Um, our office can help you kind of prepare for that. Um, but yeah, you go through that process, you'll collect your P1 visa, and then um, you're able to enter the country. Typically the P1s are issued for one year, um, but you are able to renew them quite easily. So once you get in, um, you can renew them and tour the US and hopefully become a, a huge band in America and make a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, best of luck. If you have any questions, feel free to give our office a call. We do a lot of P1 visas um, and sometimes it takes a lot of work on the front end to prepare for them. But um, if you're willing to do the work, you can typically get that visa. Best of luck.